Yo, are you ready for this? Because it sucks if you're not. That was a grave mistake, Cherenkov. I believe I already warned you about the dangers of the Zohar. You should have been more careful while retrieving it. Yes, sir. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. The problem is that those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. And, in addition to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. <laughs> because of that, we've had to move the plan up two phases. We can't have the Zohar falling into the government's hands. Two phases? But why are you... We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. No, it can't be. Them? I told you, you've made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. I don't know what Vector's up to, but... Take advantage of the situation if you can. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet. It's too risky. You, of all people, should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But, but, sir... That is all. Commander, wait! Commander Margulis! Well, well, well. Traitor. Traitor in our midst. More cutscenes though, I think. Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two years now. You could at least come home for our parents' memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books of yours. That is none of your business, thank you very much. Uh, how many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way of life? What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old, senile, and all alone. That's terribly rude of you, Xion. Don't worry about me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't... All right, all right, when I get some time off. Look, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? Hello? Honestly, I wish he'd consider my feelings for a change. So, those are some Japanese burial traditions that uh, Shion's brother mentioned. Um, I don't know much about them. Uh, but, um, yeah, well, if you are Japanese or know anything about Japanese rituals, uh, feel free to fill me in. Sounds kind of, um, well, Nice, actually, frankly. Uh, maybe it's like the uh, All Hallows Eve in the um, civilized <laughs> parts of the world. Sorry, USA, you do not count if you just <laughs> replace it with candy. Uh, yeah, uh, well, at least uh, the uh, sort of... Uh, call it the uh, established Swedish tradition is to uh, light a candle and put it on someone's grave and uh, just, well, yeah. Something like that. Maybe uh, the tradition uh, Shion's brother mentioned is uh, that kind of thing, only with a Japanese twist. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, if you've seen my bookshelf, you will know that I, <laughs> I kind of want to slap she over what she said about books. Oh, I don't know if you heard it, but I just received an SMS. Um, I'll just go, <laughs> go and read that while uh, cutscenes and other stuff. Um Good night. This is really getting creepy. Uh, you know, if you think back to Xenogears, uh, Monolith actually has a knack for making things creepy. If you remember the uh, sewer scene in particular, but I'll just be quiet, <laughs> I suppose. still here? Hey, how's it going? We're trying to pinpoint today's problem, among other things. What about you? Oh, Commander Cherenkov gave me a piece of his mind earlier. Ouch! Glad to see you survived. That guy's relentless. You act like a bunch of college kids, and what, is Vector run by a Girl Scout? He just went on and on. Man, that's just not right. Seriously. But it isn't right to have the chief taking all the heat. Still, I wonder why he seems so nervous. Oh, shit, Bucket. Things gonna happen. Now exiting the asteroid field. That's excellent. Prepare to gate jump. Aye, aye, Captain. All ships entering approach. 19 minutes, 30 seconds to column area. UMN, pulse received. Current coordinates locked. Transfer vector correction to 103. Target, Athens column. Captain, a warning signal. It can't be. Is it them? No, sir. The detection system is silent. How's it look on your side? Nothing over here, either. Are you sure it's not an error? No, no, it's not. What is this? 
What's going on? Sir, I don't think an external source is causing this warning signal. Then what's causing it? I'll run a search. I've pinpointed the anomaly. It's inside the ship, Sector 3. Oh, this looks a lot like the intro for Xeno Gears. We can talk some more about that later, actually. Just remember that this uh, sort of chain of events, it's which uh, Cosmos. stuff leads to, well, whatever else. That's impossible! Hey! What the hell's going on? I don't know! It all happened so quickly! We're checking it out right now! Cosmos warning status, level one! The bindings are off! Damn it! It's booting up on its own! The countdown has started as well! What the hell? Why all of a sudden? What is it now? Detecting a large-scale spatial distortion ahead of us. An enormous mass is gating out. Impossible. We're still outside the column area. That's... The UMN geodesic structure is being breached. The target! It appears to be interacting with the UMN somehow! It's being hacked! That's possible? Massive gravity fluctuations! Surface anomalies forming in space-time! Impossible! That defies all laws of physics! Shooting mass, the numbers are completely inconsistent. I can't get a clear reading. Whatever it is, it's huge! The amplitude! The hell? It's like a tidal wave! The readings are increasing! It's entering normal space! Captain! Captain! Straight ahead! There it is! Nurses!
thing going up. Okay. Good luck with that. Going into battle without an eggs unit. What brave little soldiers they are. Brings tears to my eyes. Well, let's see how they do with shields. Crazy stuff going down. Um, a few things uh, that uh, I need to say a few things about the uh, cutscene. Oh, uh, look at the screen on the left, by the way. Instead of uh, well, showing something coherent, it shows that well, stuff wrong. <laughs> uh, now, these noses, they are um, essentially incorporeal normally, which is why they can walk through walls. Why they uh, propel themselves over a floor is anyone's guess, but hey, I need it. And yeah, uh, when they turn people white like that, when they hold them and stuff, uh, well, they are um, turning um, their victims to salt. Um, raining every other uh, part of the, uh, well, tissues and uh, stuff to uh, who knows where. Uh, still, their uh, victims are um, every bit as dead regardless of where the rest of them goes. So, um, wish me luck. Flash of color, by the way. Uh, that's the Enosis death animation. Okay, well, things are getting hectic now. Yeah, push the button, push the button.
because apparently fire wards off uh, incorporeal uh, spooky figures. But hey, well, good for us. I think I'll actually have to uh, reduce the volume like that. Oh, what are you? Oh. Okay, well, our objective for today is getting to the lab without getting smooshed. Because we are simply not capable of fighting the noses at this point. Up the microphone volume a bit as well. Okay, there we go. Um, I hope that is enough. And um, okay, don't see me, please. Yeah. Uh, oh shit! Oh shit! Because partition switches keeps out um, incorporeal demons as well. Okay, so uh, this little room. I think you can hide in here if you fail to, uh, like, um, close the partition switch. Which I um, did not fail in doing, so I don't need to hide in there. That is true. Uh, well. Free notices we didn't leave behind will probably be waiting for us over there. Uh, oh, that by the way is a slightly iconic monster in the Xeno Saga um, game world. Uh, we will meet uh, many, well, we'll meet a few of those later, and they will be a recurring monster in uh, the following uh, games in the series. Watch some Seraphim Sisters, monster. <laughs> yep, that is really how you're supposed to do it. Oh, you are not doing so well for yourself, are you? Wait, can I talk to you again? Eh, guess not. However... Oh, and you are um, doing a lot of stuff in here, I suppose? Yes, you are um, so pathetic. However, this is a highly opportune moment to save the game, and I will do so, and see you back in the next um, episode.